this game is a, is a juicy steak, you know? It's a juicy steak with no sides. I recently just started my first playthrough of Final Fantasy 16 here on my YouTube channel and on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Rex Sterling. And I'm constantly getting asked for my first impressions of the game. What do you think of it so far? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? I really do like the game. But I can also see why the game is divisive in the in the Final Fantasy community. I can see why some people don't like it. I can see why other people fell in love with it. This is a game that focuses on narrative and focuses on action combat. It doubles down on that constantly and it kind of distances itself away from the deeper RPG mechanics that I think that Final Fantasy is somewhat known for. Pretty much if it's if it's not combat or a cutscene, it's just not important to this game. Would I like a more complete game? Would I like a more complete dish? Yeah, I would. But this is a game that knows what it does well, doubles down on it, and I respect it for that. So I'll talk about the combat, I'll talk about the story, and I'll talk about how I feel about the game overall. and you know, what I think the game could do better. I think this game, first of all, had one of the most incredible intros of any video game I've ever played. The first two to three hours of Final Fantasy 16 are fucking insane. It's just balls to the wall, story, combat, boss fights. It's bloody as hell. It's shocking. And the pace is just ramped up and ramped up. It's insane. The intro is on rails, you know, pretty much, right? It's, it's, it's very linear. That works to the benefit of the game because it's keeping you right in that sweet spot of, you know, action, combat, story. There, there's no real loot system. There's no merchants in those first couple of hours. There's no gear system, blacksmithing. Um, I, I think there's barely any, you know, abilities or anything like that, but people still walked away from the intro of this game blown away. Those first few hours are directed so well and it directs the player through the experience in a way that the shortcomings of it the minor parts of the game are such a small focus you don't really think about it as you go through the game because the strengths are right here the weaknesses of the game are way back here when you buy the game and you get into it now all of a sudden you're seeing the full picture and it's like even you're interacting with the with the best parts of final fantasy 16 and the worst parts of final fantasy 16 pretty much almost evenly now the story is great it's brutal it's dark it's acted well it's told well i think that uh some characters so far have been given given a lot more spotlight than others because you don't really have much of a party clive is pretty much the character that you're focused on the most but jill who is like the female protagonist in the game they don't really give her the attention or the development that that I want. I think most of the characters are done extremely well. I think most of the characters are given really good arcs and development, except for Jill. For some reason, she is just the most boring version of Tifa to me. I would love to see Jill do more, say more, be more involved in the game. I think that she could be a lot more compelling than she is right now. That She's had some moments. She's definitely had some moments, but you compare her to Sid and Sid just blows her ass right out of the water. Sid's arc is incredible everything about Sid was great love this character I loved a lot of the you know side characters that do get some shine but for whatever reason just Jill just you know it just feels like she's being left out in the cold <laughs> a little bit a little bit too much I think the character has a lot more potential than I'm, I'm seeing her get right now the combat is great in this game and I'm still so early in the combat. It's still opening up to me with new abilities, new mechanics and things that I can do in combat. I already thought the combat was great in the first 10 to 15 hours. And in the last like five hours or so, the combat's expanded even more. And it's just like every like two hours on stream, I'm having some kind of fight. It doesn't even have to be a big boss. I'm having some kind of fight where I'm parrying, dodging. I'm doing precise movements and combos. And it's just like, I'm shaking, the adrenaline is insane, and it was just like a regular fight. It's so fucking good. This game is hyper fixated on incredible combat, incredible boss fights, and incredible cutscene quality with voice acting and, and, and a narrative that uh, is gripping and dark and brutal. And the game does not, to me, 
seem at all interested in improving areas of weakness or areas that lack depth or anything like that. There's not much in the way of side quests. There's not like a lot of like optional bosses for me to interact with. I don't see any optional party members. I don't really have much of a party in the traditional Final Fantasy sense. Uh, the side quests are mostly like MMO fetch quest almost. This game just completely eschews certain core mechanics of Final Fantasy that I think players are used to and are expecting in a Final Fantasy game. And I do think that there's going to be a lot of players and there are a lot of players that are really disappointed that they're not seeing, uh, you know, party interactions. They're not seeing party swapping or just parties in general. You really don't have a party to manage at all. Stats, you can just ignore them as you play. Honestly, stats just don't seem to matter. Gear is extremely simplified. Bigger number, better gear, equip it, move on, sell the rest. Crafting, what crafting? It's extremely minimal. This game is heavily, heavily focused on action combat and narrative, and it eschews everything else. It's a good steak, but you know, I do like my sides, like baked potatoes or mashed potatoes or you know can i get some i don't know green beans or can i get some corn or, or something like you know can i get some rolls or what about a garden salad can i just get a garden salad i wonder because i don't know much about the development of final fantasy 16 i don't know how long the development was i don't know if the team felt like okay we have to really focus on what we want this game to like excel at and we have no time for anything else because when i look at how good the combat the combat is addictive it's so fucking good the cutscenes so good so well acted voice acting so good so well acted everything is just fantastic on, on, on the front of presentation but as soon as you start looking for depth in the gameplay and you start looking for depth in uh you know crafting systems ability systems the abilities have some depth i will say that but just in general this game really really lacks depth and i don't know if that's because the development time on the game was was short and they had to hyper fixate on certain aspects of the game or it was just a creative decision by uh by the by the team that made the game the areas of this game that are great they're fucking great the the boss fights are great and when i say they're great i mean they're like from soft level great to me they're fucking amazing some of the best boss fights i've ever had when i say that the cutscenes and the voice acting and the you know and, and the presentation of the narrative is great I mean, it's great. It's some of the best like narrative presentation I've ever seen in gaming. When I say that the other parts of the game are shallow, I mean, they're fucking shallow. It's a game about contrast. It's about extremes. You're, what's great is great. What's not great is really not great. So to just kind of wrap everything up, I think this is a good Final Fantasy game. Like despite, you know, criticisms that I have of it, I think it is a good Final Fantasy game. I, I think a lot of Final Fantasy games, they do a lot more, but they do a lot more to mixed results. This game avoids that by saying, you know, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do combat, we're gonna do boss fights, we're gonna do narrative, that's what we're gonna do. And everything else, you get the fucking bare minimum. What that means is that when you play other Final Fantasy games, you're going to have an experience that's more like this, you know? It's got some highs and lows, but it's within like an acceptable range. And I think with this game, you're going to have super high, super low, super high, super low. You're going to have the intro, the next four hours. Uh, you're going to have Sid, you're going to have Jill, you're going to have, uh, you know, great graphics and then the performance mode is shit. This game is is just, it just doubles down on story and it doubles down on action in a way that I think is to its benefit. It makes it stand out, you know? Final Fantasy would not be around as long as it's been around if it just kept giving you the same experience over and over and over and over. I don't want my Final Fantasy to be like FIFA. I don't want a copy and paste game every year just to satisfy some kind of like financial quota for shareholders. And I praise this series for doing that, for, for, for giving me something different. You look at Rebirth and then you look at Final Fantasy 16, they came out within a year of each other. You sit them side by side, they're totally different. Now, I don't want every Final Fantasy game to be like 16, but I'm glad that 16 exists. You know what I'm saying? Where this game is strong, it's fucking strong. Where this game is weak, it's weak. I agree with that too. It's just about can you just take it for what it is? I think that some of the lows are gonna be too low 
for certain players to push through and i think some of the highs are going to be so high that some players will force themselves to go through it for those highs and i think other players the people that enjoy this game the most i think they're going to settle into the same mindset that the developers had when they made this game which is we're gonna hyper fixate on what this game does well and just ignore the shit that it doesn't and i think that if you as a player are able to do that and 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 go with that and not fight it not resist it not focus on your frustrations with it if you're able to just go with it i think you're gonna have a great fucking time with this game so those are my impressions of final fantasy 16 in the first 15 to 20 hours that's my thoughts on the game so far and i'll share with you how those thoughts evolve if you'd like to come to the streams it's here on my youtube channel same as this video and then at twitch.tv slash rex sterling i'd love to see you at the final fantasy 16 streams i'd love to talk to you about the the game and i'd love it if you'd leave a comment below and tell me you know your experiences with the game did you like it love it i would love to hear your thoughts and i would love to hear what you think of final fantasy 16 and until then i'll see you in the next video thanks